Good morning. Uh, it's a Monday. It's fairly hard to track what day of the week it is if you're in lockdown uh, and not going to work. But it is a Monday, I promise you. As you can see, we've had a bit of a home haircut. <laughs> um, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I think everyone's doing it. Has anyone else been doing any home haircuts? Let us know in the comments below. Um, Sarah has got in contact over the weekend. She said, hello, Jimmy. Uh, thanks for doing the videos. It's keeping us all going. She wants to know what sort of equipment you need to go sea fishing, mainly off of piers, because she's probably not going to be going on holiday with the family this year when we come out of lockdown. She's going to go to um, British seaside towns. She wants to know what equipment do you need to go pier fishing. Let's head over to Rob Hughes. As far as kit's concerned, one of the best things you can do is just bring the stuff that you use at home. Now, I'm using very, very straightforward drop shot and spinning kit today, and our target are some of the small rockfish that live just alongside this pier. I'll be fishing with imitation baits, small drop shot kit, or alternatively worm. You can even use maggots as well. Just dropping over the edge, having a quick feel and see if I can catch things like wrasse, pollock, and also pouting. So what Rob was explaining there, um, it's very similar to course fishing stuff for fishing off of piers. You, you don't have to go and buy loads of new stuff, you know, just sort of normal size rods. The float fishing videos we're going to be doing after we come out the other side of lockdown, so the float fishing one next, the feeder fishing, you can kind of use that equipment for some light fishing off the pier, not a problem. More importantly, through the videos, when we're learning how to float fish, how to set up floats, how to tie on hooks, bait presentation, all of these type of things, when you learn the basics, you can use it over all different types of fishing. So if you want to go on and be a carp angler, a sea angler, um, a, a match angler, all the little basics, when you've got them, you can convert that into pretty much all your fishing for the rest of your life. So once you've got them basics, it gets easier, I promise you. Sarah also asked, how much does it cost to fish off a beach or a pier? Let's head back over to Rob. So I'm at the seaside and one of the great things is that you can fish virtually anywhere free of charge. I'm down at Weymouth at the moment. I'm on an area called the Stone Pier. Behind over there is the harbour jetty. We've got the harbour, we've got the beach. All of it is free of charge. And this is the same for the majority of places. If you're in any doubt, if it's a private pier, you might have to pay, but most places are free of charge. It's free, it's free. So if you're fishing from beaches, it's free. Um, as long as it's not a private beach, obviously. You don't need a fishing rod license to fish in the sea. But Rob did touch on that. If it's a private pier, you may have to pay. Like I live in Worthing, it's free to fish off of this pier. But uh, a note of warning, over the last couple of years, a lot more piers have been made private and, and you, you might have to pay a couple of quid to go on the pier. The best advice I can give you before you travel anywhere or, or before you go fishing, just to keep yourself sort of out of trouble, speak to the local fishing shop. Local fishing shops are fantastic for any information, even before you've gone to where you're going, have a look on Google, uh, find their phone number, give them a call, they will be very, very helpful. They will tell you where you can fish, the best places to fish, what type of stuff you need, what baits you need. They will have everything in shop to help you out. But it's not just a case of buying stuff from them. The, the, the advice in those local tackle shops is, you know, is so, so important. So call your local fishing shop, buy a couple of bits and bobs off them, because after this lockdown, they're probably going to need our help and take their advice because they know the local area much better than I do.